What's going on YouTube? Are you ready for an NHL 15 sniping technique video? Basically to run this down, if you are left-handed if you or if you have a left-handed player, you're going to come down the left side wing and you're going to head straight for the near post. And in this uh, approach, you are going to shoot it in the top left corner of the goal. And I'm going to tell you this technique is quite dangerous. When you're coming, you can come outside the dots. You can get try to try to cut towards the goal uh, post and come short side. And the real important thing with this is, look, I am I've got my left stick going up and to the right, and I've got to switch it over all at once and aim up to the top left hand corner and shoot at the same time. And the reason being, look at the far side of the net. It looks like the net is open over there. But the goalie, see that little triangle between the goalie's head and the top left corner of the goal? Here, I'll make it even more obvious for you. That's where the puck is gonna go. And when you hit up and to the left on the left stick, you really wanna pronounce it. In fact, your skater should almost be skating up and to the left away from their shot. He won't because his momentum won't carry him that way. But you really need to jam hard. Look at the uh, controller action again on the bottom right. I am pressing hard up and to the left and shooting also slightly up and to the left, and boom, that is a snipe shot. And I know with Chris Kreider, he's pretty automatic, but anybody with a high sniping area is gonna be, be able to put it in that top left corner. And I'll tell you some more about it. Here's the alternative to that shot. Sometimes you might have done that snipe two or three times in a game. You're gonna fake the shot to the left-hand side by pressing down on the R3 button here. Look, I freeze Snyder, get him to drop down, and then the goal mount is wide open as I cut across. One more time, let's look at it again. Press down on R3, freeze the goalie, get him to drop, thinking that I'm going for that snipe shot, yes. And now I can just cut across the goal mount. It's not always as, uh, as automatic as the first shot, but again, it's a very devastating sh uh, shot and an alternative again because maybe the defender might cut across inside so here's some gameplay footage of the first snipe shot working again and i'm gonna tell you this is gonna change your game it changed my game for sure because i was kind of languishing around at 500 and i started working there so this is the same game so you can do it over and over again against the opponent it doesn't really matter if he's gonna give you this area around the dot or inside the hash mark you can hit that shot. This is a different game against a player that was about six skill levels above me. And he was beating me. He was up two, nothing. And these were probably the only two shots that uh, I got close to. I was able to tie the game and eventually win it. So again, practice this shot. Make sure you're aiming up and to the left when you shoot. And good luck. Happy sniping, everybody.